Hey y'all, I'm back with part two of one of the crazy experiences I had with my ex-husband. <laughs> so boom, he had went out per usual one evening. So he didn't come, no, so, oh yeah, okay. So he went, came back around, mm, I want to say it was like almost like three in the morning. So I had a whole plan. When I tell y'all we used to do dumb ass shit, this nigga had me doing stupid shit that I have never done, okay? My dumb ass. I had a whole plan because, you know, when you with somebody and you feel like they don't love you or you insecure or whatever it is, you, you try to do things to get their attention, right? Even though the shit ain't going to work, okay? So boom. So I went to my daughter's room. I was like, mm, I got a plan. So I went to my daughter's room. I said, if he come and knock on your door because he is when he don't see me, just tell him you don't know where I went, right? Boom. So I, I got dressed. Well, I put on anything or whatever. And I put my, um, my shoes, my keys, my phone all under my kitchen table, right? So I waited and I waited and I waited. <laughs> and so soon as I heard him, um, the lock on the door, as soon as I heard the key go into the lock, I was like, okay, it's time to go into action. I hid in the closet. Now, the closet, when you walk, walk in my bedroom where we used to live, um, as soon as you come in the bedroom and you turn, the closet is right there, but his stuff is in the front. So my stuff is on, his stuff is on the left side. My stuff is on the right side. So, and I'm only 14 and a half, y'all. So, I hid in the closet under my clothes. Yes. <laughs> this fool comes in there. I'm looking at him the whole time, y'all. I'm looking at him pick out. He took his, he was drunk. He took his shirt off. You know, he had a t-shirt under his other shirt. He took his shirt off. He hung the shirt up. He took his pants off. He had shorts underneath the pants. I don't know why men do that, but anyway. He had shorts underneath the pants. He took those off. He hung those up. He took his shoes off. He put his slides on. He was like, hmm, I wonder where mommy is. I can hear him talk. I'm looking dead at this nigga. I'm like, how the fuck he don't see me, right? And um, so then he leaves the room. So I was like, I'm going to wait till he go out the door. So he leaves the room. I knew he was going to my girl's, my daughter's, uh, they bedroom or whatever to see where I was. Okay. So he comes back to the room. So I'm still in the closet. And so I hear him. He was like, I wonder where mommy is at. Hmm. I wonder where she went. Oh, mom. Man, you know, I, I Nigerians talk. <laughs> he was like, oh, mom. I beg. Where mommy they go? Where, where mommy they go? Whatever. So, boom. He goes out the front door. When he goes out the front door, I, as soon as I hear this, because we had this to our building, we had this other door that was the outside door. So, when you hear that door close, you knew. So, as soon as I heard that door close, I ran, got up, ran into there, put my shoes on, and my uh, jacket on, got my keys or whatever, and my phone. So I'm going out the front door. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking to see if I see him, you know, so I don't see him. So I creep out that front door to the building. And so I was looking, I was lurking around the corner. So I didn't see him, you know, he's much taller than me. So I'm, he, he can move fast, you know, so I'm like, okay. So I'm going to go down this side street, which I think that street was like 40, I think it was like 41st street or 42nd. Oh, I think it was 41st street. So anyways, I go down this street, um, walking, walking. I'm just laughing to myself. I'm just laughing to myself. I'm like, oh, you're such a fool. You're so damn stupid. <laughs> Why do people do, do women do dumb ass shit, right? So I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. So then once I hit Vermont, because if you go down 41st Street, you're going to hit Vermont. So I hit Vermont. It's like a Yoshinoya on the corner. And then if you cross the street from the Yoshinoya on King, if you go down that street, it's like the Coliseum or whatever. But there's a park down there. So I'm all, I'm crossing. So I'm, I'm turning the corner. I'm turning the corner on uh, Vermont. So I get to Yoshinoya. I don't see him. So as I get to the corner by Yoshinoya, getting ready to turn on King, right? To come back towards my house. 
who do I see in the far distance? I see him. So I see him walking fast because he sees me, but he's like at a distance though, right? So he speeds up walking and I speed up too. I'm like, oh shit, because I didn't want him to catch me. And I heard him scream my name, y'all. <laughs> I heard him scream my name, but I kept going. I kept walking. I'm walking faster and faster. When I tell you he sped up, he sped up. I'm walking faster and faster, and I'm pretending like I don't hear him calling me. He was like, Mommy, I know you hear me. I know you hear me. And I'm laughing. I'm laughing so hard, but I'm not. I'm trying to laugh to where he don't see me laughing. But you know, sometimes fat people would do like this when we laugh or whatever. So anyways, um, so he finally catches up to me. And, but I'm almost at I'm almost at Hoover, getting ready to turn to go home. So I'm like middle ways down. Uh, he, mind you, I'm running. I start running, and he chasing me. This is like what? This that was after 2 a.m. And we on King off of Hoover between Hoover and Vermont. We on King, right? It ain't really nobody out or whatever. Like he chasing me. He chasing me. I'm all in the middle of the street, coming in the middle of the street. He like grab. <laughs> He grabbed me and he pushed me against the gate. He like he like pushed me up against the gate or whatever. And I was like, what are you doing? And so he was like, he like put his hand like this or whatever. And I was like, eh, what are you doing? <laughs> and I started laughing. And so he was like, oh, well, I've been looking for you since like 11 o'clock. Really, nigga? Are you really going to sit there and lie to my face? This is me talking to him. And he was like... You could even ask Summer. I've, I've been looking for you all night. I've been looking for you, I mean, all morning or whatever. Where you been? Who you been when I was just like, nigga, I seen you just come in the house. Why are you sitting there lying? I mean, y'all, when this, I tell you, this nigga will hold on to a lie. He will hold on to a lie, I swear. So he was just like, I'm serious. I'm serious. I was, like, I was looking at you the whole time that you was coming in. I was staring at you. I seen you put your clothes off, take your clothes off, put them up, everything. He was like, how did you see that? I was like, cause I was in a closet, fool. I was right hiding up under the clothes in the closet, dummy. He was just like, <laughs> he like a little smirk. <laughs> it was funny, right? Cause the bitch called. He was like, well, um, no. Cause I, I was like, stop, stop, just stop. Cause you gonna still hold on to the line? I'm like, fuck you, whatever, whatever. We we like pushing each other and we in the middle of the fucking street and I'm running and he running after me. I'm like, you ain't getting in the house. And he running and I'm running. He running and I'm running. At the end of the day, y'all, we both went inside. We both just was dying laughing. I was like, I'm a fucking fool. The dumb shit that I do for your ass. The dumb shit I do to try to get your attention is ridiculous. Yes, we divorced y'all. Well, I did say my ex husband, but anyway. The shit used to bother me back then, but it's funny as hell now. It's hilarious. And me and him are good, y'all. We good. This all love. We 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 like family. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't together, nothing like that, but we good. So I'm talking about the shit now because it was hilarious. But anyways, till next time. Bye.